Hello everyone, Brett here, and I'm in front of this huge mural by artist Derek Adams, titled Our Time Together. This mural and the ideas behind it will be the inspiration for our project. This mural is a collage of real places the artist visited in the city of Milwaukee. They reminded him of his community in the city of Baltimore. You can find people and things from the inside of a barbershop, a coffee shop, as well as photographs and church fans that show the community's history. We all spend time in different places with different people. Right now, I'm at the Milwaukee Art Museum, spending time with my coworkers and with visitors who love to look at art. When I go home, I'll be in my neighborhood where I live with my family, my friends, and my neighbors. The places we spend time and the people who spend time there with us are called our community. One person can be part of many different communities. This is where I live, Fairview. We're a small and friendly neighborhood in the city of Milwaukee that enjoys spending time together outdoors. And this is Fairview Elementary School. It's in the center of our neighborhood. It has a playground, basketball courts, fields, and a beautiful mural. The Kinnikinick River Parkway runs through the area and is filled with trees. I see lots of birds and wildlife when I go for a run or a walk with my dog. Seeing rabbits, raccoons, possums, foxes, even deer and coyotes is one of the reasons I love living here. I also like seeing all of my friends from the neighborhood and their dogs too. There's a huge church nearby where my family worshipped. It has the most amazing stained glass windows. All of the unique experiences of my neighborhood will inspire my artwork today. Think about all the things that make your community special. Look for pictures of these things in magazines or newspapers. And if you can't find them, draw them. Start with a single sheet of paper that you fold in half. Each half will be a different space. The left side will represent indoor spaces I visited in my community. The right side will be outdoor spaces. I'm using texture plates to create brick textures and siding textures that look like the outside of a home. You can draw these or find texture plates of your own to use. You can make your own texture plates by finding materials that have similar looks and feels as the surfaces you're trying to create. I'll add additional details with colored pencil. Derek Adams uses a combination of drawing, painting, digital manipulation, and collage to make his artwork. I'm going to collage these patterned papers to create indoor spaces. They remind me of wallpaper and wood grain that you can find in a home. I'm carefully collaging my patterned papers over the top of a hand-colored background. You'll want to be sure to apply your glue evenly and place your collage items nice and flat over your backgrounds. You can use collage to make many different things. I used some collaged paper to create a potted plant. With the background complete, it's time to add the community members. The clothing in Adam's work is made with flat planes of color and pattern that seem to be cut out and assembled together. Find colors and patterns that you'd like to use for clothing. Be sure they fit within your scene by laying them out first. Then draw and cut out the designs of the clothing you'd like to make. Adams uses a combination of collage and drawing for the portraits. He places the portraits within frames that sit atop the figures. Use a darker sheet of paper for the frame and a lighter sheet to draw and collage your portrait within. I have sheets of different facial features that I'll be using for my collaged portraits, but you can find different faces in magazines, newspapers, or within photographs that you might be allowed to cut out and collage together. After your portraits are collaged, add the drawn elements to connect the facial features. Adams uses straight lines and geometric forms. Along with people, I'll be adding images of animals to my scene. Some are from photographs I've taken around my home, Others are from wildlife books. Collage can bring together many different times, places, and people to tell new stories. You may recognize some of the images I described from my community, like spending time outdoors and the church in my neighborhood. You'll also see photographs from my family who also lived in this neighborhood years before I did. 
If you don't have old photos of your neighborhood, you can check with your neighbors or look online to see more about the history of your community. I hope you enjoy this snapshot of my community, and I hope you enjoy learning more about yours and sharing it with us. We'd love to see what you create.